Now keep in mind that if your bow is not center shot, and long bows are not center shot, arrow selection is going to be a little bit challenging. The best rule of thumb I know of is that for every one eighth of an inch your bow is cut off center, deduct five pounds of bow weight. Also, if you're shooting a Dacron type string, deduct another five pounds of bow weight. Let's say you have a 60 pound bow with Dacron string that's one eighth off center. Then you will need to uh, select an arrow for a 50 pound bow. Now the reason that's important is because of what's known as node points. I know, what the heck is a node point? Well, watch this video while I set up my board and I'll try to explain it to you. Now I'm sure you noticed the archer's paradox. You notice the first thing that that arrow did when it left the bow was bend in toward the bow. So this, of course this is exaggerated, but that's the first thing, okay? Then as the arrow traveled a little bit away from the bow, it bent the opposite direction, okay? Here and here are the node points of the arrow. The reason that's important, the node points will always travel in a straight line. No matter where the point of the arrow is in relation to the target, the node points will be traveling straight, okay? That's why you have to adjust the spine of your arrow by cutting the arrow to length, adding more weight to the point, less weight to the point, etc., in order to adjust those node points to where they're flying toward the target. You've heard the saying, this bow is great. It shoots exactly where I'm looking. Folks, it's not the bow. It's the arrow is tuned to the bow. 